I'm Dr. Heng Sui Hyong. I'm the resident consultant oral and maxillofacial surgeons in Penang Adventist Hospital. Oh, recent teeth are the third and last set of molars. Most people will get uh, at their late teens or early 20s. They are called recent teeth typically because they erupts or appears at late teens or early adulthood of 17 to 21 years old. Well, most people have four wisdom teeth, but some people uh, have one or more missing wisdom teeth. Uh, this varies from countries to countries. Uh, generally between four to five to forty percent. Uh, in Malaysia and Singapore, the incidence is about thirty percent missing wisdom teeth. So oh, you need to remove the wisdom teeth if they are causing problems or potentially they are going to cause problems. Most people remove their wisdom teeth then when they complain of pain or swelling. Uh, due to infection or caries. Uh, some people remove their wisdom teeth as instructed by the orthodontist. Uh, more than 95% of the time, the treatment option, surgery, complete surgical removal is a treatment of choice. In cases where the tooth is partially erupted in good positions and uh, partially covered by the gum, causing gum infection called pericoronitis, or perculectomy, or removal of part of the gum that cover the tooth can be tried, but uh, I seldom do it because the infection can recur. The other option in very difficult recent teeth, when the teeth is very close to the vital structures like the inferior dental nerve, Coronectomy or removal of only the crown can be attempted. But I would suggest that this procedure should be done by an oral surgeon because, like I said before, more than 95% of the time the, the wisdom tooth can be removed. And uh, if you leave part of the roots behind, the pro or the benefit is to avoid damaging the vital structure. But at the same time, there is a higher risk of infection subsequently. There are people who would say uh, wait and see approach. In other words, they will not want to remove their recent teeth until they cause problem. But I would suggest that this should not be the policy because when the damage is done by the infection of the recent teeth, the, it will be irreversible and uh, uh, root canal treatments or other procedures may be needed. Uh, to remedy the situation. Most of the time, people will complain of swelling over the cheek and throbbing pain. But this will be taken care of by the medicine that we will routinely prescribe after the surgery. Sometimes, very rarely, patients complain of bruises or ecchymosis over the cheek or down the neck. And in very difficult removal, some patients do complain of numbness over the side of the tongue or the lips. About 12% of cases, patients with wisdom teeth will lead to some kind of pathology. Less than 2% of, of adults at the age of 65 and above will be able to maintain their infected wisdom teeth in healthy uh, status without caries or periodontal disease. Therefore, I would suggest that if you have a wisdom tooth, you should consult your dentist or dental surgeon uh, to find out whether this wisdom teeth need to be surgically removed. Because removal at the late stage, like I said before, may, cause, or may have already caused damage to the second molars, resulting in pain and irreversible palpitis. Therefore, we should not wait uh, for the symptoms to come before doing anything. And uh, generally, if you remove your wisdom tooth early at an early age of between 
17 and 18, generally the surgery is easier with less complications. When you wait, the roots of the wisdom teeth will grow around the teeth, around the nerve, inferior dentin nerve, causing the removal more difficult in the late adulthood. So, uh, I would suggest uh, you see a dentist and I would normally advise patients if you think that the wisdom teeth is useless, fun no function, in, in uh, impacted position, I would normally advise people to remove them early, not wait until they cause problems. And uh, the other thing is that if you, who is the best person to remove the, the wisdom teeth? Because the degree of difficulty in removing the wisdom teeth varies greatly from a very simple elevation to a very difficult surgery. Therefore, I would advise the public, if you want to have a wisdom tooth to be removed, go and see someone who has the expertise or well-trained to deal with any complication that may arise during the procedure. Generally, the oral surgeons are trained to do this surgery and most of the time, they will be able to handle the situation with, uh, with all uh, eventuality.